hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will see how we can configure power up grid control so open the default solution or your solution in classic mode and click on the entity and go to the controls tab and select power apps grid control and click ok and once you click ok you have to enable the features like if you want to display the child items inside your parent record uh, grid then you have to enable this okay first you have to define the view which view you want to display in the child entity record then you want to decide that which lookup field represents or which parent field represents as the lookup field right so here you need to just configure you do not need to write any code for this then you have to also you can also enable the option set colors for example if you if one option set or choice field has different colors item colors then uh, you can display on the grid so first enable for web phone and tablet for this power up grid control and once it is enabled with features publish this power apps grid control configuration then you can go to the power apps view power apps uh, entity view to check this grid so first of all let us design or define some uh, items and choices with different colors and see once it is published so once it is published i can go to here in the view this is my loan entity view right but let me refresh it but when i refresh it i can't find any uh, change but here you find there is a arrow icon this arrow icon will display the child records associated with a parent entity record right so a loan record has multiple emis so i can see the child records using this arrow icon if i want to add a loan type column which is a choice field to display on this view also i can uh, see the different colors in different uh, rows depending on the uh, item uh, or depending on the loan type item selected so let us see what happens click on apply now you see guys in the loan type column in every row uh, we are having different colors because of different loan type right this color is already defined in the column level while creating choice field okay now this power of grid control is very powerful without writing any code you can achieve this functionality dif dis uh, displaying different colors for choice items displaying child record items against a, a parent record right as i display here right now now you can see here the different color is showing there are there are other uh, features also for power apps grid control you can enable if you go to the controls again and click on power apps grid control you will find some other features for example if you uh, if you go here below let me you can also add a lookup field here but there is no lookup field in the uh, loan entity so I remove that for now if you scroll down there are some other features like enable editing if you want to enable the editable grid feature for your uh, power apps view entity view then you can enable this next is jump bar if you want to enable jump bar option next is we have a pagination you can enable pagination also right jump bar means uh, it will display a to z the alphabets to jump um, between the alphabets which is matching record name right and also there are some other features also enable status column enable data source data type icon uh, if you enable this data type icon it will display a small icon on the uh, on the top of the icon uh, caption right and so these are the all properties that you can enable and publish to check how it looks like so there are enough you know multiple uh, features enabled already available in power apps grid control and you can enable it for your entity view now let me publish and see what changes are done and how it impacts in our view now once it is published let me go to the uh, loan entity view and refresh it and see what changes once it is refreshed you can see here guys on the uh, on the every column you have a data type icon right let me change the view uh, view to add more columns because in the view i can have i can have only name and created on every time i uh, add columns but let me change the view so that 
the view will be persistent let me add some columns that i want to display let's say amount bank account then customer these are the columns that i want to display on the active loans entity record okay so next status status region these are the status fields then i want to display tenure in month and okay now save and publish i can change the width of the name field okay if it is not working it's okay you can save a save and close and publish the entity now click on the entity and publish it now it will dis by default display all the columns that i have added to the view whenever i refresh the entity view now let me refresh this and i can see the different columns in the active loans view now you mark here every column title has a uh, data type icon also and i can directly edit the values in line this is called as editable grids okay so uh, in line editable grids and uh, whenever there is a field value not editable it is showing a disabled icon right and if you this is a lookup field if you go to the uh, go to any field let's say monthly am i this is a roll up field uh, this is a calculated field now it is showing a disabled icon right so these are the features that are already available by power apps grid control which is a custom pc control provided by microsoft that we can take leverage or we can leverage to change the user interface of my grid control or my view control okay and any plugin that has been written against a record also whenever you are changing the uh, item inline editable uh, feature then also that plugin will call and this is the child records that are showing uh, whenever you click a click the arrow icon and this is the jump bar a to z is showing so whenever you click c all the loan records uh, whose name starts with c that will display right so this is called as a jump bar and pagings okay and also uh, there are upcoming features like you know internet uh, scroll if you are keep scrolling the uh, lo records will be loaded infinitely that feature is also there you can implement so you can play with this uh, power apps grid control which is a modern way of customizing user interface experience uh, for displaying list of records in model driven apps okay so thanks everyone watching this video i hope you can understand how it works you can implement in your projects also thanks everyone